from the valley. Some residents have concerns about this, but the district says Dr. Priscilla Canales is highly qualified and they're looking forward to the future. Canales spoke exclusively with CBS 4's Annalise Ortiz and Annalise, what did she have to say? Priscilla Canales says she wants to commit long term to the community of Weslaco and Marcianetti. Many people tell me that she's coming here at a time that the district needs a strong leadership. Priscilla Canales comes to Westlaco from the Del Valle Independent School District near Austin, where she served as assistant superintendent for more than five years. I grew up in a community, a smaller one now, like Westlaco. I have always served communities like Westlaco. Canales has more than 20 years of experience in public education. She was named the lone finalist for superintendent just weeks after the school board voted down a recommendation to promote the district's current assistant superintendent. Superintendent Sue Peterson. I thought it was very unfair and, and unjust because we had an individual that was in house uh, by the name of Mrs. Peterson who was more than qualified and very well established with the community. School Board President David Fuentes says the district had a tough decision to make as they interviewed the four finalists, but ultimately the choice came down to qualifications. This, this person that's coming in had some qualifications that made her a little bit different in that she's trained principals, she's trained directors. Canales says she wants to work with everyone in the community to bring top quality service to students. I want to um, get to know and establish a strong working relationship with both the district and the uh, Wasico community and commit to um, long term. This contract is currently under... In negotiations. Fuentes tells us that she requested a salary that's about 5% less than what former superintendent Ruben Alejandro was making. At the time he resigned, he was earning a salary of $253,000, including benefits. Live in Westlaco, Annalise Ortiz, CBS 4 News and Valley Central.